Good morning, everybody. How we doing? Matt Modi here with Odds Jam, here to give you some of my favorite NBA player props for today. So we're going to be, let me zoom in a little bit here, locking in some sharp, mathematically profitable NBA player props using Odds Jam, using the positive expected value page to find these player props. So we can get right into it and I'll kind of talk about how I go about finding these plays, what makes them profitable, all that good stuff. I guess before I get started, uh, if you want to find me on social media, you can at, at my Twitter handle you see on the screen here, Jedi Modi. You can also find me on Picket at OddsJam underscore Matt, which is very, very betting specific. I think all of the bets that I place um, sync directly with Picket, so make sure to follow me there. Um, and then, um, yeah, so let's get right into it. That was all I had to say. So number one play that I've already locked in here, got the check mark, locked it in on bet 365 is DeMontis Sabonis under 12 and a half rebounds. So this play is at plus 120 odds at bet 365, as I already mentioned. Um, so the reason why this play is mathematically profitable, everything is derived from these no vig odds here. So where you see the no vig odds plus 112.16, these odds can be viewed as the true line of what a market should truly be priced at. I like to call it the odds jam perfect line. The reason why it's so valuable is because these odds are pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world, the sports books that consistently do the best job at pricing odds. So a little secret about sports betting is that all odds or all sports books are not created equal in terms of how they price odds. So like if you look at this screenshot here, you will see there's odds ranging from minus 105 up to plus 120. And you can ignore Monkey Knife Fight because they're a DFS company. But that's a pretty wide range of odds, uh, like minus 105 to plus 120. It's like a $25 difference if you're trying to profit $100. Well, with that in mind, one of these sports books has to be right and one of them has to be wrong. Or the truth is somewhere in the middle and, and they're both wrong. But regardless, they both cannot be the accurate reflection of the market, right? That doesn't make sense. They can't be that far apart and both be um, the accurate market of the accurate market evaluation of this DeMontis Sabonis under 12 and a half rebounds. Just doesn't make any sense. So with that in mind, I mentioned some sports books. Uh, or that uh, not all sports books are created equal. Well, some meaning by that, some are better than others at pricing odds. And Odds Jam tracked thousands of betting opportunities to determine what sports books consistently do the best job at pricing odds. So that is where these plus 112 odds come from. They're pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world, which is why this is so powerful. Um, and then what you want to do, and I do this before I ever place a bet, you want to look at the odds of the bet you're placing, compare that to the rest of the sports books. So if you look at the plus 120, compare that to every other book. Make sure that the bet you're placing is an outlier. In this case, the answer is yes. We are getting plus 120, as I've said a zillion times. Look at every other sports book. The closest one is at plus 105. And then when you are comparing sports books, you wanna look at the sharper ones to give them heavier weight. Bet Online is one of those sharp sports books that is given heavy weight. Um, pricing this at plus 105, 15 cents lower, that's a good sign. Uh, DraftKings also does a pretty decent job, specifically with player props, as does FanDuel. You'd be surprised. I think it's because they use DFS data, would be my guess. I don't actually know that. But DraftKings at plus 100, FanDuel at minus 104. All of these sports books, including the sharp ones, pricing it pretty decently below, meaning more favorable. Uh, to occur than the plus 120 at bet 365. So this is a really good bet. And this is bet number one. DeMontis Sabonis under 12 and a half rebounds. Next up, another rebounds prop. This one is at bet rivers. We are looking at Harrison Barnes to go over four and a half rebounds plus 110 odds at bet rivers. I locked in this one as well as you can see right here. Harrison Barnes over four and a half rebounds plus 110 odds. So the odds jam perfect line on this one prices it at about plus 107 and a half, essentially. So the gap between these two numbers, that is where your profitability comes from. The plus 110 at Bet Rivers, same thing here. Let's compare it to every other sports book. And starting with 
the sharpest one, Bet Online. Uh, sharpest one of these. There's actually another sports book, Pinnacle, which might not have uh, had priced odds yet for player props. Pinnacle is also very sharp, but right now we can only act on the information we have at hand. Bet Online prices this at minus 108. DraftKings prices this at minus 110. That's like 18 and 20 cents lower. And then there is FanDuel at plus 100, 10 cents lower, a little bit closer to the Bet Rivers line, but generally this plus 110 is still an outlier compared to every other sports book. Um, so this is play number two, Harrison Barnes over four and a half rebounds. And I will say, uh, I'm not saying that these two plays are locks. I'm not saying that I'm guaranteeing both of these plays hit. An, an unfortunate reality of sports betting is that sports books um, or variance is a very big part of it, right? You're not going to win every single bet. You're not going to profit every single day, week, month, whatever. It will be profitable in the long run. And I am kind of a testament to that. I mean, I've been using Odds Jam since the beginning of football season last year. So 2021, go birds. Um, and you can see my profit is at about 23K. Now, if you look at my profit over time weekly, and this is all pulled from the OddsJam bet tracker. So every bet I've ever placed since I started using OddsJam uh, feeds into these numbers. We see like some down weeks. We see this week, I mean, this, I was down, what, this six out of seven weeks, five out of six weeks, down 1,400, down 1,600, down 1,600, but more up than down, which is the most important part. Last week, I was up 2,200. I had an incredible week last week. A couple weeks ago, I was up 2,800 have been up 2,500. So you're up more than you're down, but you do have to understand that variance is a big part of it. So I might place five bets on this video. And sure, I might have a bad day on this individual day, but if you keep up with it, if you keep up with positive expected value betting in the long run, and you are um, placing bets, you are doing the proper research, making sure that you are placing uh, bets that are outliers, I'll almost guarantee that over the long run, you will be profitable just have to accept a little bit of variance. So that's, um, anyways, two plays. The third one, lock this one in as well. Jaden Ivey over five and a half assists. <coughs> Excuse me, lock this one in at uh, Bet Rivers. Actually, this is Barstool, but they have the same odds. As you can see here, this one has been locked in. Um, plus 112 odds at Bet Rivers. Odds jam perfect line at about plus 110 and a half. So again, the gap between these two numbers is where you get your positive expected value from. And then look at every other sports book. Pretty massive discrepancy here. Plus 112 at Bet Rivers. Across the board, we see minus 103 down to minus 105, minus 102, including Sharp Book, Bet Online, including decently sharp player prop book FanDuel, all pricing it 15 to 14 to 12, whatever cents below. The bet rivers line below, meaning more likely to occur. So this is my third bet for this video. Another really good one. Next up, we have Anthony Simons under four and a half assists. Locked this one in as well. Risked to win 75 units. So I guess I, I should mention this part. In terms of unit sizing for player props, I pretty much put everything at three quarters of a unit. So if it's plus money, I will just risk. 70, uh, 0.75 units, which for me is 75 bucks. If it's for minus money, I will risk to win $75. That's kind of how I have my unit sizing um, in my bankroll kind of figured out specifically with player props. So this is my fourth bet for this video. Yes, my fourth one, Anthony Simons under four and a half assists, minus 130 odds at Bet Rivers. Odds Jam Perfect Line essentially prices this at about minus 132. So again, the, the gap between these two numbers is where your profitability comes from. Even uh, the situations where you have a smaller gap can still be profitable plays. You just need to look, again, what I've been doing, look at the odds of the bet you're placing compared to every other book. We see minus 150 and then minus 154. Every other sports book, the other four in this case with bet online and FanDuel each having it at minus 154. So this minus 130, clear outlier, clear, very good play compared to every other sports book, which is why we are locking it in. Play number four. I believe I have two more for you guys. Uh, this one, Harrison Barnes over two and a half made three pointers plus 150 odds at bet 365. I tried to lock this one in. 
It was giving me um, weird, like they couldn't confirm my location, even though I legitimately just locked in a bet on this. Yeah, can't confirm my location. Not really sure what the issue is there, but I will lock this in, I promise. Harrison Barnes over two and a half made three pointers, plus 150 odds at bet 365. Odd jam perfect line, pricing it below this number. Look at the plus 150 compared to every other book. So DraftKings is kind of close, 10 cents lower at plus 140. But then we see every other book in the plus 130s with Fox Bet all the way down at plus 125. So this is play number five. Last one, Franz Wagner uh, over. One and a half made three pointers plus 112 odds at FanDuel. This one I did lock in, as you can see right here. Um, 75 bucks plus 112 odds on this one. Again, you want to compare it to every other book. So, points bet and bet rivers seven cents lower, kind of close. Every other book minus 102 plus 100 down to minus 110. Um, I know I've mentioned FanDuel as a sharper book than normal specifically for player props, but that doesn't mean I will avoid sharp or avoid mathematically profitable positive EV plays on FanDuel. They can still have a mispriced line if they're mispriced to the majority of the sports books, which they are in this case. So this is my sixth and final bet for this video. If you guys are tailing, comment and let me know. Other than that, uh, please remember to like the video. Helps me out a ton. Subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel, helps me out a ton. And then if you wanna find me on the social medias, as I mentioned, you can at Jedi Modi on Twitter. And that's it. So appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.